Now, hazy conditions may have eased over the past couple of days, but some schools are still cutting back on outdoor activities and looking into cancelling school trips as part of precautionary measures. But one private swim school also says that it has had to hit the brakes on lessons over the past week. Deborah Wong tells us more. These kids from PCF Spakotots are having music and dance classes instead of their usual outdoor playtime. That's even though the playground they go to is partially enclosed. While preschools are advised to reduce outdoor activities when the PSI is in the unhealthy range, some operators are taking precautions even when air quality is at moderate levels. We have children with respiratory problems, so in view of that, we have decided not to bring them out because the haze reading has not stabilized yet. We will also keep a close monitoring of children with respiratory problems. We will also request the parents to bring in medication for them if necessary. The centre also displays the latest PSI reading at its entrance to keep parents in the loop. Over at this secondary school, it cuts down on strenuous outdoor activities like running and competitive games when air quality is unhealthy. Our teachers also uh, do a visual check to make sure that all our students are all right. If there are any students who are feeling unwell, then they will be sent down to the sick bay. Um, our students have also been advised, especially for those who have pre-existing lung and heart conditions, to bring their uh, medication with them. It says it's monitoring the situation and may cancel the school trip to Malaysia if the haze worsens. But over at public parks, it's a different story. It's still business as usual in Marichi Reservoir and our operations have not been impacted much. As you can see, canoeing activities are still ongoing and tourists are still exploring the park. But operators have taken precautions. Now, water activities, for example, will be stopped if the 1km mark at the Long the Boys is not visible or if the PSI hits 200. Non-school-based outdoor lessons, however, have taken a hit. One private swimming coach says he has had to cancel at least 12 classes over two days when it was especially hazy. Some worried parents actually called to cancel classes. This actually caused a problem to us and our coaches because we are unsure that whether should we make a trip down to the client's place because we will never know when the haze is going to be better. So like the PSI is from 0 to 100, uh, activities will just proceed on as per normal. Then from 100 to 120, uh, it's up to the coach's discretion or even the parent's discretion if lesson wants to be carried on. Mr Tan says that based on the protocol his school has just developed, the coaches might reduce the number of laps, give children longer breaks and focus on static drills instead of endurance swims if lessons proceed.